Hey folks, Chip Richter coming to you here from the Golf Cave here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Got a little drill for you that's a great one to get the year started with, get you back into the right feels and get you back into the right motions. Uh, using something that you can find right just laying around the house. There's, there's a bunch of them in everybody's home. And this isn't a drill that I invented. This is a drill that's been around a long time, but it's a really good one. And if you haven't tried it, you might want to give it a try, especially to start the season and make sure you check the checkpoints or you're hitting some good positions. What we have here is a coat hanger, okay? Just a regular coat hanger. And I'm going to take this and put it on the face side of my golf club. So it's going to run underneath my left hand, all right? And I'm going to put my left hand on there. And what you're going to notice is that this coat hanger is now touching my left wrist, okay? And I want to make a swing where it remains in contact with my left wrist the entire time. I do not want this cupping motion here where we get long and lazy and across the line. I want that coat hanger to stay on the left wrist the whole way to the top, okay? So, very simple stuff. Keep the coat hanger on the left wrist. That'll keep the left wrist flat. There'll be less adjustments needed through the hitting zone. You're gonna hit better shots. But what else it does, and probably even more important than helping you get the club face correct to the top, is through the impact zone. And we see so much of this, especially with wedges and chip shots. We see people trying to help the ball up in the air. That's not what we want. We want the hands forward and we want the body doing the release work to get the club over, okay? So if you keep this angle between the coat hanger and your left wrist intact and you keep them touching the whole time, you're going to feel a really good body centered pivot release and not flipping your hands like this. And it's a great way to practice little chip shots, making sure you're hitting down into the ball with that angle of attack we need to get the ball up in the air. So get you a coat hanger, put it on the left side of your grip underneath your left hand, make some swings, keep it on that left wrist, make sure your impact is good all the way through, and I bet you you're gonna have better impact and better golf swings to start 2022. Hope you enjoyed this week's tip. Talk to you soon, folks.